Okay, this is problem number six on homework number four, which has um, a bunch of different gas laws. But um, I chose number six because it uses the combined gas law, which we went over today in class. It's P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. <clears throat> um, all right, so... Um, we know that this is a combined gas law problem because they give us a lot of information. They give us STP, which is important, the 1.72 liters, the 250 millimeters of mercury, and then the 5.81 liters. So you know it's a combined gas law when you're given <coughs> five variables and you're solving for the final sixth one. So um, I'm going to write out all of my givens. Um, my given pressure one Standard temperature and pressure, remember, standard, that can be one of two numbers. It could be 1 atm, or it could be 760 millimeters of mercury. In this case, you want to use the 760 as your pressure because your uh, second pressure is um, in millimeters of mercury, so it'll keep it easy. Um, standard temperature is uh, 273 kelvins. Remember, you always want your temperature to be in kelvins. And then our first volume is 1.72 liters. Okay, so there are all of our one values. Um, now let's go on to our two values, our P2, our V2, and our T2. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> our first pressure is 250 millimeters of mercury. Our first volume is 1 point, or sorry, 5.81 liters, and we do not know our second temperature. Now that we have all of our givens, um, you can plug them directly into the combined gas law formula. Remember, you can multiply out your combined gas law formula <clears throat> before plugging in the number, and it's a pretty good idea to do that. So here is the kind of the overall setup, and then if you divide, we want T2 to be alone. So if we divide both sides by P1, V1. I know this looks like a lot of pre-work, but it keeps it easy when you're solving. So now what I'm doing is going to plug in all my numbers in this order. Okay, so T2 equals P2, which is 250 millimeters of mercury. V2, which is 5.81 liters. And then T1, 273 kelvins. And then on the bottom, we've got our P1, our 760, and our V1, 1.72 liters. So you multiply everything on top. So 250 times 5.81 times 273, hit equals. Divide by 760, hit equals. Divide by 1.72, hit equals. And our final answer is 303. 0.34 kelvins. And you're done.